In this video, I'm going to talk about the ubiquitous seven segment display and how you can use multicolor LEDs to provide the user with more information than just a simple readout. Seven segment displays are still the most common display technology in many consumer and industrial applications. For example, they're used in factory automation to indicate parameters to the operator, such as temperature, and oftentimes a single display will be used to show multiple parameters. For this video, I have a multicolor LED from Rome, which uses the Pico LED mounting technology to place two LEDs in a compact package and makes it easier to display multiple pieces of information on a single display. So you can see on the board, we have two sets of LEDs and I can light those up at yellow, green, red, or if I turn both on at the same time, you get an orange color. And they're a standard 0603, or if you're in metric, then a 1608 package. And they're 0.5 millimeters thick. And so they will fit inside the standard light guide. You can do multicolor displays without multicolor LEDs. You just need two LEDs and you need a non-standard light guide. And that's gonna add additional PCB space and additional cost for the special light guide that you need. So I'll reattach the light guide. And again, I can have red, yellow, green, or if I turn them both on, then you get an orange color. And so you could use red maybe for your temperature reading and yellow, green for your time remaining on a process. Or maybe you have a temperature reading that needs to be within a certain range and to easily indicate where it's at in that range to your operator, you could have it be yellow green for the standard range, it's normal operating conditions. You could have orange for kind of a warning range, or you could just go to red if it's outside that range. That way when the operator sees it, they don't need to know exactly what the number is, they get an immediate indication of whether that value is in its normal operating range or not. So these multicolor LEDs give you more information than just the data being displayed on them. Now, besides placing the two LEDs in a compact package, Rome has also done a couple of things that help improve the reliability of the device. With your typical LED with electrodes on the end, it's possible for solder to wick up into the package and cause the LED to fail or discolor. What Rome has done is place the electrode on the bottom side and then placed a layer of resist on the top side. And this prevents solder from penetrating the package and causing the LED to fail. Now, the backside electrode also allows you to have a smaller pitch and higher density placement, so you can do things like dot matrix displays with these LEDs. Upgrading even simple displays to multicolor makes them more useful to the user and can help differentiate your product from a competitor's. And to learn more about Rome's SML D22 multicolor LEDs, visit Rome.com and visit allaboutcircuits.com for the latest news and technical resources.